Christine, you drive by, you see a line, you see a tent or a trailer like this one and a sign like this that says free COVID-19 test, PCR testing. Should you pull over and stop? Well, one medical professional we spoke to say, not so quickly. Make sure that you see obvious signs like these. They said it was just COVID free PCR, same day results. Not all COVID-19 testing sites may appear as they're advertised. Here we are a week from the day that I came and still don't have any of my results. Dr. Joseph Verone with United Memorial Medical Center says people have to be cautious of where they're lining up to take a test. The question is, you know, how do you know? I mean, what are the big red flags? Well, first, if you have a site that is not affiliated with like a local medical provider. Dr. Verone says you should not have to ask for that. Can I have a card for the name of your business? No. Look it up. Any site following standard procedure should tell you. Dr. Verone also says testing staff following proper procedures would wear gloves, an N95 mask and shield, and should label and place your test samples in a biohazard bag right in front of you. There is no regulation. And that is a problem. Uh, the lack of regulation allows pretty much anybody to become their own little uh, pop up uh, testing site. He's noticed testing sites popping up everywhere since last April. I think that the first gain is money. At the end of the day, is money. You know, people want to make money, and this is to some extent easy money because the government is going to pay you an amount. Dr. Verone is urging people to research and find a reputable site instead of joining the first line you see. You have to understand that the information that you are receiving from a COVID test may actually cost you your life. And a lot of people who visited this site within the last several days came back today looking for someone to talk to and was greeted by an empty tent here. They are trying to track down their testing results. Dr. Verone says he is seeing the same number of crowds at his facility and still their patients are receiving their test results within 24 to 48 hours. Reporting live, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News.